Did you know that sharks lay eggs? While most shark species give birth to live young, there are some fascinating exceptions. Over 500 shark species inhabit waters across the globe, and a portion of them follow an oviparous reproductive strategy, meaning they lay eggs. However, these egg cases have a distinct appearance that differs from the conventional notion of what an egg looks like. A common type of shark egg, but often mistaken for seaweed on beaches, is the mermaid's purse. These pouches hold a precious secret in the form of baby sharks, rays, or skates. Mermaid purses are sturdy and leathery structures that provide protection to developing shark embryos. While most sharks and rays give birth to live pups, some species lay eggs enclosed in these durable casings. Skates, a type of stingray known for their diamond shape and absence of stingers, also utilize mermaid purses. In fact, sharks and rays are closely related, and mermaid purses serve as evidence of this connection. On shore, mermaid purses are commonly sighted, empty, and discolored in black or brown due to the absence of nutrients. These pouches resemble the air bladders of seaweed and have a leathery texture. Even after the babies have hatched, mermaid purses can remain afloat and drift along ocean currents due to their thick, protective casing. Most importantly, they feature two or four tendrils hanging from one end, which can be curled or spiky. The shape and size of these tendrils help scientists determine the species that hatched from the case. One of the most bizarre-looking mermaid eggs is that of the droughtboard shark. It's an orange-yellow color with bright tendrils that look a lot like cake decorations. There's also the egg of the Australian ghost shark, which would pass as a prop from the movie Alien with its metallic blue-black color and ribbed edges. The zebra shark egg, on the other hand, looks a bit like a jacaranda pod, adding a touch of natural beauty to the mix. The best time to spot mermaid purses is after powerful storms or when strong currents occur. The higher the amount of seaweed on the shore, the greater your chances of discovering a mermaid purse. When beachcombing, pay close attention to the high tide line. Occasionally, you might even come across a mermaid purse containing a live embryo. This is an exceedingly rare occurrence, typically observed after particularly severe storms. If the purse is open, it does not contain a live embryo. Only during the early stages of development can an embryo survive in a fully sealed purse outside of water. Once their lungs develop, they require the oxygen-filtering properties of salt water to survive. If you're fortunate enough to encounter a live embryo, carefully return the sac to the water, away from the waves, preferably in a location below the shoreline and tidal zones. Besides mermaid purses, there's another strange-looking type of shark egg. Unlike the eggs you typically find during an Easter hunt, these unique corkscrewed packages can be discovered in rocky reefs or kelp forests off the California coast, specifically from Santa Barbara southward. This is where the incredible California horn sharks choose to lay their strange spiral eggs. The egg case itself resembles an auger bit, initially soft when it emerges from the mother, but quickly firming up. This unique packaging is made of a material similar to fingernails or hair. The exact process of how this distinctive shape develops remains unclear, but marine biologists speculate that the organ where the egg is formed, called the gland, is twisted. There are other sharks that lay corkscrewed eggs like the bullhead shark and the Port Jackson shark. The latter has been observed securing its spiral egg into the sand, like drill bits. Besides this crazy fact, the spiral ridges on the egg case play a vital role in securing it among rocky nooks and crannies where the mother typically lays it. This clever design ensures that the egg remains wedged into a rock, preventing movement caused by surges and waves. Additionally, the ridges make it harder for predators to get their claws on the egg, offering extra protection. Over time, the egg cases become covered with coralline algae and other organisms, providing camouflage. However, some predators manage to find their way to the eggs. Sea snails, known as whelks, are among them. Using their proboscis, a unique mouth-snout structure, they can drill a hole into the egg case, targeting the nutrient-rich yolk inside. Once the egg is laid, the female shark doesn't stick around. She takes off, leaving the baby to develop on its own. Inside the egg, the embryo feeds off the yolk sac, which acts as a nutrient-packed lunchbox prepared by the mother. As the embryo grows, it relies on these nutrients to sustain itself. Luckily for the young horn sharks, their maritime nursery is filled with plenty of shark baby food, including small shrimp and crabs. 
So when the mother shark ditches her eggs and swims away, she's actually placing them in an environment where they have a good chance of success. After approximately 7 to 10 months, when the embryo has consumed all the nutrients from its lunchbox, it's time to hatch. But don't worry, these newbie horn sharks don't emerge on an empty stomach. They actually have a bit of food reserve internally, ensuring that they can sustain themselves until they start actively hunting for prey. That's it for today's video. Hope you learned something new, and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. See you next time!